Short stories written and read by Richard Nichols for Community Radio, based on poems on the couch. Flying. Long time ago, man saw that birds could fly. When I was young, my brother flew model aeroplanes. It would soar into the sky ever so high. I would stand by and hope that all was okay. In a child's eye, being high up in the sky is just the ticket. All children dream of flying. And so this was with my brother and his friends. Sometimes a crash would happen. Everyone would run to see if the plane was okay. Oh no, oh no, the wing is damaged and the tail plane has snapped off. Gosh, can you help us fix it? My plane is damaged. All would be well the next week and all would be back on track, flying high in the deep blue sky as all planes should do. Did you see that, Dad and Mom? My birds, dear Quark, I will miss you. I know you will always be in my heart. The loss of my friend and friend of Chloe. Go in peace, my little bird. I will miss your strong will and love for food as you tried so hard to eat and share mine. Your cheeky attitude to life will not go unnoticed. Go well, good friend, fly high above the world, love Rich and Chloe. Rain. I love the sound of rain. It helps me sleep at night, brings flowers and plants, and the grass under one's bare feet alive again. The next morning all of nature has been reset for a new beginning. Time. Why do we need time? To get to work or school on time? To meet a friend at lunchtime? To take medication on time? Why not be free from all this control? Eat when you like? Meet and greet? As and when you like? Tick, tick, tick. Oh, that clock again. Here goes the alarm. Wake up. You're going to be late again. Buck, Amber Valley. I stand at the window or in the doorway. My good friends, the Buck, are in and around my mom's unit and are there to greet me. They look my way with eyes wide, tails wag side to side in rhythm with the pulse of nature. One sudden movement and they make a dash for cover to find safety in numbers away from me. Eyes still giving me a stare. Why don't they understand I mean no harm? I talk softly to them as I take picture after picture. Finally I go back inside. Goodbye, good friends. Goodbye. Love. Who needs it? Love, you say. All people on earth need some love. This week saw lots of people. Hope for love to come in the form of her valentine or his valentine. Options on the table. Box of chocolates. Red roses. New car. Dinner date. Is all part of the deal. Did you get to share in a moment of intense love? If not, hope again for next year. Good luck. Short stories and poems written and read by Richard Nichols for Community Radio, based on Poems on the Couch. Join me next time for another podcast when I will take you down a magical journey with words. Until then, goodbye.